myself laughing. <laughs> We're always having fun here. Um, hey guys, it's RJ with the Variant. We are here for Action Figure Fridays one more time, all the time, every Friday, all except right. for the Fridays we just decide you don't deserve <laughs> one. Um, but uh, with the lovely Charlie Rocket <laughs> once again. Um, today we are going to do some Marvel... Well, they call them Marvel Legends. Some people call them Marvel Infinity. Uh, but they're basically the three and three quarter inch uh, Marvel Legends Infinity series. At some point, they were like Marvel Universe, and then they were like Marvel Infinity. And now they're Mar I'm just going to call them Marvel Infinity to make it so they're not uh, so confusing as far as what's going on. Somebody's got to make a choice. So pick a name, stick with it, Marvel. All right, Charlie Rocket, take it away. Clearly, I was ready. <laughs> awesome. I've got Ro here, and I was talking about how she looks really strange right there, and opposed to back here. But, whatever. Her little figure is pretty cool. She's got, like, mohawk action, but it's like, um... It's the 80s, Rose. Yes. And I do love the 80s. Everyone loves the 80s. Who doesn't like the 80s? Except 80s Dazzler. <laughs> yes! She's got like awesome mohawk in the front. Party in the back. <laughs> no, because she will steal your <laughs> memories and powers. She'll steal everything you've ever owned. She's like a bad ex-wife. She... <laughs> 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 made me choke on that <laughs> this is what friends are for oh, <laughs> she's got like cool little belt that kind of moves but it's also like stuck to her crotch so it doesn't actually move <laughs> she's rogue, a fun figure <laughs> this rogue review is a little out of hand <laughs> yes <laughs> she's fun she's a party um <laughs> yep but that's basically it it's like a little hint of green but all black. She's cool. I wonder when they ever, like, they decided, hey, Rogue's just going to always have that green color scheme. Yeah. Like, she was just, like. You know what really says Rogue to me? Green. Yeah. That's, that's what Rogue. we're giving her. Yep. What is she like? Her face is like. It's not a bad face. Pretty awesome. Like, I mean. She's actually, like, a she's really got some guns scary, too. like, pretty lady. She's got she's some, got, like, some musculature. Jaw bones and like awesome makeup. She's legit. I like it. Who can paint this small? Anyway, whatever. All right. She's cool. I have got Marvel's Moon Knight. Um, now this is like mm -hmm. pretty much the small equivalent of the Moon Knight. Yeah, I had to do that with the bigger Moon Knight. Yeah. <laughs> the other Moon Knight's right next oh, to you, actually. Yeah. So that's kind of oh. detailed. It looks pretty it's much like the mini same. Mini. Yeah, it's like, hey, I'm mini, mini Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> you complete me. And I have a me. laser and a boomerang. <laughs> um, this is pretty cool Moon Knight figure. Um, it looks like he's got, like, some armor. So it looks like maybe they just took, like, a generic figure and they slapped some armor on him. Uh, they painted some little boomerangs on his uh, chest there. Um, the looks like the leg has like uh, oh, yeah. some little armor sculpted on it. Um, but yeah, this is a, a decent little Moon Knight figure. He's got some texture to his cape and his hood. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's kind of like textury. Whereas that one is just plastic, right? Yeah. 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 This is like. You know what else is cool? Like, they, like, actually sculpted the little moon in the front instead oh, yeah. of, like, painting it oh, on, Oh, they like, just painted one. it on that one. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, this is cool. It's, uh, these little, these little figures are just, like, I, I like them because, like, I can, you know, go add them to my G.I. Joe and, uh, Star Wars small figures, and they're just, like, all hanging out together and partying. Um, friends. Yeah, everybody's friends. So, yeah, Moon Knight. And uh, it's a pretty cool figure. I dig it. Yeah. Oh, look. I didn't notice this. He's got little, uh, his little moon boomerangs on his wrist. So, like, they don't Aww. come off or anything. He doesn't come with anything. 
Um, he's got a hand to grab stuff, so like I guess you can give him some Punisher guns, and he's got a punchy fist. Uh, but they don't um, they don't swivel or anything. They definitely don't have these smaller ones. Don't have the articulation of the bigger ones, but that's to be expected. Um, so you know, the fist of Conchu. <laughs> All right, next up, Wolverine. It's Does not, it say Wolverine? It says Wolverine. It's Wolverine. It's she is all new Wolverine in the comics. But you know what? She does have her own name, so. X-23. Or just Laura. Yeah, so I feel like, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> she could be new Wolverine. That's cool. She looks awesome. I always love X-23. She's legit. Her hair is blowing in the wind. That's cool. So she's clearly doing some action shots. Pew. Ugh. Ugh. How wonky are those claws? I know the claws. Every they're Wolverine just, figure yeah, just has wonky like, claws. Blah, 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 blah. They need to just start putting metal claws on all the oh, Wolverine snap. figures. Yeah. Even though, like... Because they bend so much and then they just stay weird and wonky. Yeah. Oh, I fixed them. They're fine. Okay, cool. Oh, well, then they're easily fixed. So that's good. She's got awesome boots like her her regular outfit you know she always looks like this she always looks ba her hair's always flapping in the wind because she's busy slicing people up it's legit she's got a little movable belt just like rogue did where it's attached but i feel like they should have always any mm, x23 mm, mm. figure they should pack package it with like smelling trigger scent action <laughs> because if you remember in like the comics there was always like <laughs> when she first came out there was like this trigger scent that just flew her into like a yeah. crazed rage, and then somehow they cured her of it. They're like, she'll be but fine like, now. I think they should, and it should be like mangoes or peaches. <laughs> like, they're like, like just some, like, it's not even obscure, but they should just be like, just oh, mangoes. that's, that just drives you bananas. That just makes her crazy. Or bananas. Yeah, maybe bananas. Banana is the trigger scent. You know what? She actually has rock out action. Oh, cool. Good for her. Legit. So she can rock out and go crazy yeah. at the and farmer's market. In a fold. <laughs> she's legit and she's got a dump. She got a dump. Oh. Okay. But cool. yeah, she does. X23. Good to know. All new Wolverine. Yeah. All right. I have got a. Uh, you know, this guy's like. I think he's kind of like a, a Spider Man villain, but he's also been just like a standard villain. I guess he started in Spider-Man. Um, standard villain uh, of the Marvel Universe. He is Hydro-Man. He so, just looks like if Reed Richards... Yeah, like, he's, he's just kind of like a Reed Richards guy, but like... Tornado of he's, water. Yeah, in a tornado of water. Um, I kind of dig this tornado of water, though. It's yeah, rubber. I really didn't want to like, like him, but it. it actually looks really cool. Ooh. It's rubbery. It's made of rubber. It's got a hole in it. You can yeah. just hold him up. Like, you can be like... <laughs> but um and he's like he spins like you can spin oh him. oh he's kind of cool i really so, didn't want to like him at all yeah like uh, he's just a b-list villain or c-list villain sometimes i guess but um he's hydro man and he can yeah he is dressed like reed richards he does have a little rock out action oh yeah so he can like rock out and surf the waves um but I dig the way that they did this. Like, yeah. this was like, I think if they had come with, uh, like, if he had come with, like, legs, and then this to attach, that would have been too oh. much. Like, what would have been the point? Yeah. Like, nobody's going to put his legs on him when you've got when he's this got cool, water. cool water spout spinning action. Like, that's Hydro Man. Legs. Yes, nobody. In fact, we should all just have water spout legs. Yes. That would, I think that would make us all that much better cooler but yeah. hydro man there's not like a lot to say about him um you know i'm thinking maybe they used an iron man chest for this because if you look he's got yeah. like that little like circle thing on there so maybe they just like repainted an iron man um he's got some cool little gauntlets on his arms so they kind of like stick out when you bend his arm so it's it's definitely like a piece together figure but you know they do that with a lot of these um, and, you know, rather than re-sculpt an entire figure just for Hydro Man, 
they're going to piece them together out of something. And then I'm sure they used like some like water or latex rubber, blah, 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 to make that. So, anyway, Hydro Man, pretty cool. Yes, all right. I've got here Gamora. Everybody loves Gamora. I love her. And I love this Ugh. armored suit she wears. Legit. And the well, short hair. Who's that armored everything. suit for? Is that from the comics? Uh, I know she wears it in Marvel vs. Capcom in the video game. Oh, okay. But That's what's up. I don't know. Is that the infinite? She does have a comic that she wears it in, but yeah, I, I have not remember. read that one. So, sorry. But, cool. She's just like super B.A. Gosh, she does look like a little gun, but like, it's impossible. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Can you hold it? There you go. Oh, perfect. She's awesome. Her hair's like perfectly in her face, so you see like one eye. So it's all mysterious. One serious eye. And her awesome armor. Yeah, okay. At first I thought it was just like painted on, but it is like sculpted, sculpted. on. That's legit. But yeah, she's got like cool things on her elbow, like the little armor guy. Legit, she also has a sword. Yes. She has a lot of things. Because she's Gamora. Yeah, it's rare for these little figures to come with like equipment, but that's that's but awesome. They, like, some of them do, up. some of them don't. Most kids are gonna lose that stuff. Yeah, it's not for kids, RJ. No, Definitely these aren't not for, kids. for children. You know, I went looking for some figures that uh, I was going to put in my display case that um, my son had in his room. They were all missing their heads. I oh. don't know what to think about that. Like, <laughs> like all the Spider-Man figures, they, their heads were just gone. There's a box of heads somewhere in his room. I don't, I don't even know what to think <laughs> about that. That's a little worrisome. Twelve-year-old boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Spider-Man. Oh no. But she has this awesome sword. It's kind of like Wolverine's like claws where it's like really bendy. But easily fixed. Still looks BA. She's got a gun and a sword. She's ready for a knife fight and a gun fight. Don't bring your gun and a sword to a knife fight. I don't know what that <laughs> because means. Because you'll kill everyone. Yes. <laughs> I don't don't know. bring yourself to a fight with Gamora. Like that's real life. That's dumb. Yeah. She apparently just picks up giant guns off of planes th- and shoots you with them. I think I'm more excited to see the Guardians in the Avengers movie than I am to see the Avengers. Guardians are yeah, my favorite. Of, like, that's, yeah. they're just... Well, I'm excited to see Black Panther. So. I mean, yeah. But he just had a movie. Like, Guardians, it's been a minute. I'm still not tired. I just want to see some Gamora. <laughs> I just want to see Spider-Man. Let's be real. Yeah. Let's be real. Spider-Man is all that's needed. I don't know why I use Gamora to say that. Anywho, she's awesome. I love this outfit. It's like one of my favorite Gamora things. Yeah, I dig that. I love it way better than the movie one, but <laughs> that's just me. Oh, oh. Okay. There she goes. All right. I have got, and this is Marvel's Quasar. Oh. I don't know if like somebody else's Quasar had to <laughs> have that um, noted, but... Marvel's what Quasar. Quasar. What about DC's Quasar? I don't think there is one. What? But whatever. Alright, so Marvel's Quasar. So, as uh, somebody noted earlier, Quasar is kind of like a plot device. Like, he's kind of just like a dude that they brought in to just save the day at some point. Um, he had a series for a while in the 90s. Personally, I wasn't reading it. Um... This is a cool figure. I think they could have made his eyes a little uh, more painted. Like, they're they're yellow, but they pretty much match his yellow skin. Yeah. Or peach-colored skin. But, like, you can't really tell he's got eyes. He just kind of looks like, meh. Um, I do like that they look, put his little shoulder pads on there, and they're actually molded to his cape. Ooh. So it's all one part. You can't lose those parts unless you pop the heads off and then pop the cape off, um, which... I'm sure would end up in a bucket of heads at some point in some kid's room. Um, 
He's got his little nega bands. So it's uh pew, pew. Let's see, and they're all painted up and negified. Um <laughs> this is a newer um version of Quasar. I think like uh they re-sculpted him at some point. I kind of dig this too. He's got these little star knee pads. Oh, that is pretty cool. Like yeah. they're just like sculpted knees, but they made them into his little star shaped knee pads. So that's cool. Um Again, I know, and you know what? I've actually met people that are like really big Quasar fans. I like Again, Quasar. I don't, I don't really see it. Like I'm just like, when you're that powerful, like you're just there to solve the problem for yeah. the Avengers or whoever. Like they're like, hey, let's get Quasar, or hey, let's get Hyperion, or hey, let's get who's that other guy? The Sentry. Yeah. Like they're like, hey, let's just make these all powerful guys, and they can save us when we blow it. Yeah. So, like, Thanos, oh, yeah, Thanos, we, we got this. We don't got this. No, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead, and then Quasar shows up to save the day, or Hyperion, or whoever, the Sentry. Yeah. So, but, yeah, if you need to fill out your collection, there is Quasar. I'm with Quasar. Okay. Wasn't he on Earth's Mightiest Heroes? Maybe. I don't Maybe? Know. I don't know. Whatever. Did he save everything? Probably. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I think he just showed up for like two seconds. Sounds about right. That's probably why. Cool. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-UK. Marvel Spider-UK. Sorry, there might be another Spider-UK. Oh, what happened? His leg immediately <laughs> fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, UK. Always be... <laughs> Faulty British plastic. How dare you? Oh, it just popped right back okay. on. It wasn't even difficult. Anywho, yeah, I open everything that's Spider Verse related. What the heck? He's he kind do? of strange. I don't know. He's just, his arm feels like. <laughs> it's like floppy. He's got floppy arms. All of his limbs are just going to fall off. <laughs> Look at that. He looks like he's from the UK. It's great. He's very, very shiny. Like, I've never seen oh, yeah. Spider-Man be shiny before. He but is a like, pretty shiny Spidey. He's Say that like... three times fast. <laughs> okay, no. I'm already done. But, <laughs> yeah, he's really shiny and he feels shiny. How are you going to feel shiny? I don't know. I guess because, like, everything's painted on and nothing's, like, sculpted. Yeah, we did we did a review on a Spider UK figure a while back. It was the big six inch oh, figures, God. and that guy was buff. Like he was just like, I'm Spider UK. I think it's because he's Captain Britain Spider Man. Is there a? His, his limbs package? are super loose, but like his head won't move <laughs> hardly at all. Hailing from far beyond Great Britain, Spider UK fights alongside Spider Man with web slinging, wall crawling abilities from another dimension. It doesn't mention that he's probably Captain Britain from Spider-Man verse or Spider Verse. It's got like the red fingers, and then like everything's almost blue. And web slinging action. And one grabby hand for nothing, just because. That's in case he needs to use like a yeah. Punisher gun or something. Or a microphone. Or yeah. Might be. <laughs> he's like British pop star. Spidey. Spider-Man. Oh, that would be really legit. It's like actually. the Beatles. He can start a band with Spider-Punk. I feel like if he had that, that would be so much better Ta-da. because right now he's on that Spider-Noir level for me. Yeah. I never dislike Spider-Man unless it's Spider-Noir or this guy. <laughs> Not attractive, Peter. Sorry, guys. For all you Spider-BK. That's UK, not BK. BK's Bur- Burger King. Spider-Man Burger Ooh, King. Ooh, that would be legit. He had the king hat on, and then he, like, shows up, like, appears in your house. All right, so I have got Living Laser. Um, Honestly, right off the bat, he's a see-through shiny figure. Yeah. Um, Except he doesn't want to come out. Um, He is translucent, and you know how we love those translucent figures. We love them. I want to find ways to put LEDs on these guys so they light, light the hell up. Um, I don't know a lot about Living Laser. I think, uh, they just put, like, a guy named the Laser 
in the new Avengers comics, but I don't think he's the living laser. Um, this is a pretty cool figure, though, like, with the exception of this head. Yeah, that's pretty Like, that's just a weird... Ridiculous. That's like a weird head, man. Hey, like, guys. It looks like Moltar the, from Space Ghost. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> or Space Ghost. Like, you could, you could probably put Quasar's <laughs> cape on him, and then you have a Space Ghost figure. Yeah. Um, or, you know, spray paint him or whatever. But, yeah, any any figures that are translucent, I dig. Um, regardless of, of how C-list of a character they are. Or how their head looks like a thumb. Yeah, a thumb. Thumb head. Like Thanos. Like the new Thanos movie. Yeah. Or the new uh, Avengers like, movie. He's got Thanos. Hey guys. Everybody's calling him Thumos. Is that what they're calling him? I don't know. I don't know what the kids talk about these days. I don't either. Um, the paint job on him is really cool. So like his chest is translucent, but it's also spray painted so you can see his like spray painted abs and then he's got like lightning all over him so you can basically see all the lightning through him i'm sure if you shined like a flashlight or something through this dude it would look really really cool um but again that head i just don't know he kind of looks like uh baron zemo yeah yeah like that that dude that just wears a, a hood all the time um but uh but apparently not in the movie. Yeah. But other than that, I dig it. Like it's a pretty cool B list figure. And uh it'll round out your look, his head is blocking out your head. He's got your hair. Like that's what Living Laser would look like if he was oh, co hosting with us. It would be like him and like Princess Leia. Yeah, Princess Leia. Hair. I can't hold it steady enough. But you guys get the idea. <laughs> Living really laser like like with tabby hair. Yes, beautiful. I think he looked gorgeous. Okay, time for Lady Deadpool. Now, let me tell you, whenever I cosplay as Deadpool, people go, so you're like a Lady Deadpool. And I'm like, that's legitimately what her name is. So, <laughs> here you guys go. It is proof that she's real. Oh, my God. She had a sword, but she dropped it. Proof, she's a real lady. Oh, there is Yay! a legit Lady Deadpool. Like, really? A... I'm pretty sure you can just assume there's a anything Deadpool. Yeah, they did a Deadpool corpse comic. And it was like Ooh. Lady Deadpool and Dog Pool and Kid <gasps> Pool and Champion Pool and some other people. Um, and then at San Diego Comic-Con, they put out like a... Uh, a figure set of all these guys in a chimichanga truck. So it was like a little cardboard right. chimichanga truck. It had all the figures in it. Uh, pretty much the entire Deadpool corpse. And, uh, cor corpse? I don't know. Corpse sounds like dead, pre dead people. Yeah, dead, dead people. But Speaking of which, he's got this squirrel pool right here. Squirrel pool. He's legit. He's got like two little swords back there. He's like, hey guys. I they should do like a squirrel girl <laughs> squirrel pool crossover. <laughs> Yes, they like, should. Like that squirrel pool could hang Ugh. out with Tippy Toe. There we go. And they can all party. Also, she's got like a little holder for her sword in the back. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, does it even fit in there? Hold on, maybe this way. Yay! Just jam it in. We did. <laughs> Perfect. Yay! But and, she's pretty legit. And that's the thing. When you when you cosplay as Deadpool, I don't ever feel like I'm, like, talking to Lady Deadpool. Because Lady Deadpool yeah. specifically has that ponytail coming out. You don't yeah. wear your mask with yours. You're just, like... I'm just, like, what? I'm just... You're just female Deadpool. Mr. Not Lady Lady's... Deadpool. I haven't she's even worn no it lady. while I was blonde, either. So I'm really not legit. True. No, you're <laughs> legit. You're just not legit Lady Deadpool. I do know some people that do cosplay Lady Deadpool. Yes. Uh, shout out to Skylar. Whoop, whoop. And uh, she's actually like a really good Lady Deadpool. Um, she's got like the, the whole legit costume and guns and everything going on. Um, so she'll be coming up on the variant as a cosplay spotlight at some point. I don't know if she's going to be Lady Deadpool, Ooh. but we'll see. Maybe. Um, she's got a little movable belt too, but it's not attached to her like the other ladies. Because she... Doesn't get held down by things. No. She's her own woman. No. Wanda Wilson. That was her name in the comics. She was like Wanda Wilson. Yes. She was just an alternate universe Deadpool that just happened to be lady, a lady. Um, Ooh, 
her hair is even kind of movable. It's like flying in the wind, but Aww. like you can do it to the other side. Whoosh. Yes, girl. Yeah, but she's awesome. The squirrel's really awesome. Yeah, I dig the squirrel. Yeah, BFFs. Hmm. Any extra Deadpool Dope. figures? I mean, they just listen up, Marvel. Deadpool is going. <laughs> just Deadpool saying. Deadpool is going. Isn't it? You never did it. You've never done it. You've done Gwenpool. You've done Squirrel Pool. You just never it's did Deadpool or Gordon. It, I think it is. Yeah. Like they, they have to call me to They're do that. They're just teasing you. So, whatever. Anyway. Well, that's about it. She can maybe hug this squirrel too. Oh, Aww, best friend forever. Best squirrel friend. This is a large squirrel. That is a big squirrel. Yeah. He's like the like size of a, her full torso. That's a big fat squirrel. Did I just fat shame that squirrel? Oh my god, RJ. Get ready for all the emails. All the hate. Oh god. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today, guys. So check back in with us next week. Charlie Rocket, do you have uh, plugs? Of course I do. You can find me on any social media platform, Charlie Rocket. And you can also find Pride Star Gaming for all of your gaming needs. Gaming. And Input Club. They're awesome. Check them out. Those are the keyboard guys, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, they cool, make a awesome pretty keyboards. BA keyboard yeah. that I saw at one point. <laughs> you can find the variant on all forms of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And also just go to our website, www.the-variant.com. I keep you're getting it. That's two weeks so in a row. Good at I got that. it right. Wow. So you'd think that I didn't own the website. Um, but yeah, check us out. Click subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.